Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today, we have a recreation of the Battle of Lake Tresemine. This was a battle fought in 217 BC between Hannibal and the Roman Republic. This is the uh, second battle fought between Hannibal and the Romans, and historically, Hannibal was the victor. However, today, we're going to see if the Romans can strike back and change history. So, if you're happy to see Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator back on the channel, of course, please do leave the video a like. It helps out the channel a huge amount, and it's always very gratefully received. If you don't want to, of course, that's also your prerogative. And also, if you have any ideas for future uh, historical battles or any other scenarios, of course, let me know in the comments below. Uh, just in case you didn't know, the 1.0 release of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator comes out on June 1st. So I'll try and cover that uh, either the day of or day after it releases, as it should add a heck of a lot to the game. So I'm very excited for that. So we'll hop on in to the battle right now. Uh, just to uh, give you an FYI, I am still quite jet lagged. I tried to record uh, the Hearts of Iron 4 earlier and I was getting quite frustrated with it. Uh, so I figured I'd go back onto this as all I need to do is press one button and let the scenario play out. It took me about half an hour to find a scenario that I felt I wanted to do. I was tempted to um, just do a like a zombie battle, zombie survival battle, but I decided to actually go for a historical battle as that's what I felt more in the mood for. So hopefully you'll agree with that. But this should be quite a fun battle. As we can see here, we have the uh, Romans splayed out across here. Uh, we have a variety of Carthaginian units as that's what they kind of mainly would have been comprised of, like a variety of uh, units from all across uh, Africa, uh, Hispania, Gaul, and Italy. So I do have 500 Spartans. I'm not sure if that was too many. Uh, we'll have to see... Uh, as we go throughout the battle. There weren't actually Spartans in the actual battle, but they're kind of Hannibal's elite troops, as we as we can call, kind of call them. Uh, so, yeah, we have the Romans marching along here, about to be ambushed by the Carthaginians and forced into the lake to perish. So, without further ado, let us click on play. Uh, traditionally, uh, I believe that the Romans were actually outnumbered in this battle, hence why I've done the 19,000 uh, against... Um, 15,000. But as we can see here, the Romans are losing a lot of troops very early on. Uh, if it turns out that this is crazily unbalanced, then I will kind of change around the scenario a little bit so we can kind of see uh, if the Romans would be able to gain victory. As we can see, the Romans have lost a 1,000 troops already, and the Carthaginians have only lost 180. Uh, so this, you know... I believe in the actual battle, this is according to Wikipedia, so take this with a grain of salt, but I don't have any other facts and figures in front of me, uh, but the Hannibal had around 55,000 men, the Romans 30,000, and the Romans lost 15,000 troops, and 15,000 were captured, compared to uh, between 1,500 and 2,500 casualties from Hannibal's army. And as we can see here, it's looking like that's what's going to happen today. I did also give uh, Hannibal 500 archers as well to play around with. And they seem to be doing a sterling job at shooting the Roman position. So the Romans have now lost almost an entire legion of their best troops. 5,000 Romans have now perished to the combined uh, coalition force of Hannibal Barkers. And it's looking like, yeah, I don't think that the Romans are going to have victory here today. I might add in some certain things so we can kind of give them a bit more of an advantage. And it looks like the wild men have actually broken through here. So I might just reduce the amount of troops they have and buff up the Romans a bit more. Um, because this is actually a complete whitewash. I will probably take out the Spartans. I imagine they have decimated the Roman force here. Oh, uh, yeah, they've completely just annihilated them. And I'll just probably take them out of the scenario completely. That's if you'd like to see. Actually, I can't tell because I'm doing this live. <laughs> it might be fun one day to do Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator live, uh, either on YouTube or Twitch. 
As you know, I do usually stream um, three times a week. I've had to cut that out completely just because of my schedule. It is just an absolute... I just can't do it. <laughs> I really can't do it at the moment, which is unfortunate. So this entire flank of the Romans appears to be uh, crumbling entirely. Uh, the force here seems to be holding up a little bit better against the spearmen. Against the wildmen, however, they're not doing so hot. The wildmen have also slaughtered them, along with the archers. I really think that I gave Hannibal's force probably a bit too much of an advantage, and it doesn't look like they'll ever be able to come back. Uh, the Romans, that is. It looks like they're actually managing to inflict some damage on the Spartans. Did I give them the buffed up Romans? I might give them my buffed up Romans. And, uh, no, it doesn't look like I did. I should probably change them to the buffed up Romans and reduce the amount of kind of elite troops. Oh, yep, yeah, and here we go. They're, they're tearing on in to the remaining Roman position. So this is a repeat of history we have here today. The Romans are getting absolutely cream crackered. So the wild men are actually quite powerful. I didn't actually realise how much you know health they have. That's like 400 health there. I do have some units that I can change it around to uh, without too much difficulty. So yeah, we can see that the Romans did not stand a chance. The only where the only place that they've really held has been in the centre here against the spearmen. But even then, they they've kind of folded in. And oh my giddly gosh, that has been an absolute trouncing. I didn't realise it was going to be that bad. But the Romans are still, they're not throwing down their arms at the moment, which is, you know, more for them, I would, well, and they haven't been pushed into the lake, which is kind of good for them. But it's been an absolute slaughter. An absolute giddly gosh slaughter. So, oh, actually, we, oh, it's our little holdout of Romans here somehow managing to hold out against the Spartan force. The Romans have a decent block chance. But eventually you do break through. And they are just going to get surrounded and destroyed. Much like what is happening right here, right now. The centre has collapsed and... <laughs> Yeah. And the remaining Romans cut down. How many Romans do they have left over here? Barely 80. Oh, no, straight down to 50. Yeah, they're getting absolutely slaughtered. Whereas Hannibal... You know what? I've actually done this pretty historically accurately. Uh, so I just haven't made it balanced at all. There's, there's no remoteness of balance here. So we'll, tr we'll try that again. A little bit, mm, hopefully a little bit more balanced. Uh, so let's exit to the menu. We can kind of see the composition of the forces that I have. I will change the Romans round to... Boo -boo -boo. Uh, my custom Romans. So they can change to 8,000. So I'll keep the numbers the same as don't really want to go messing around with those. Okay, so that's 8,000 of the buffed up Romans. Ancient Greece um, will also change you. So we can kind of, kind of call them the Gauls, but they're, they're just kind of the Germanic. I'll probably take the Spartans out entirely and just have the medieval footmen there. Uh, the wild men here can also change to... Germanic, 3,000 of those. I'll probably keep the... Actually, I'll take the archers out as well. And then we'll see how that goes. I imagine it might go the same way, but it'll be interesting to see. Oh my gosh, I am... I really need to get a good night's sleep. I was up at half past four this morning uh, in the office for 6am. Or was it about half six? I'm not really sure... I think I left the house at 6 and got into the office, which is in downtown Vancouver at like 6.30. Oosh. Anyway, 
without the enough of me complaining about jet lag, even though jet lag is horrid and I hate it. Uh, so what did I reduce these Germanic troops down? 150. Okay. So here we go. This might put it in... Uh, no, no, at the moment. Looking pretty even. Looking pretty even indeed. And this battle kind of stretches. It's probably one of the larger ones that I've done. Um, I don't know. It's about kind of 30,000 all told. I guess. If we turn cinematic mode on, we can kind of get a better idea of the numbers here. Actually, would I need to keep going out for you to see? I think you do. Oh my giddly gosh. Or if we did it this way, we can kind of see what's what's happening. You can see the Romans piling on in. This area, though, is still a little bit threatened here. So they've kind of gone away. They've kind of gone through the tree line there. I'm not sure that was the best best idea. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. So we've got the battle playing out. I am not controlling the troops at all. Uh, looks like the Romans might still be losing it just... This is definitely tighter. Oh, and the remaining Romans are now ploughing on in to the battlefield. So if I just speed this up a smidge, we can kind of see how this battle is going to progress. Yeah, very well, very well. But at the moment, it looks like it could go the Romans. No. Might still go Hannibal's way. The Romans have killed more, but they were outnumbered by a couple of thousand. But now that the Romans are kind of formed up in their line, it's going to be a bit uh, trickier to kind of get their position destroyed, if that makes sense. I mean, like, the Romans are actually pushing them on this flank a little bit. It's starting to go around there. The spearmen are kind of holding. So that'll be a tight fight between both of those. Over here, looks like their flank is about to buckle. So that gives the um, kind of the Gaulish troops the ability to kind of go into the Roman flank and pour in the centre. The footmen, the kind of the basic Carthaginian infantry, which is what I'm calling them. <laughs> Uh, appear to be making some progress. They they are the most numerous here, so they'll have the best chance to defeat the legionaries. Uh, let's take it out of cinematic mode once again. Looks like the Romans... Um, they're killing more, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. So, I don't know how I would like to be like a squeaky Roman soldier at the back of the line, just kind of moving forward. For Rome! For the Emperor! As we try and march forth, pushing the troops forward. Yeah, being slowly pushed to the front of the line, it just feels disgusting. But when doing a shield wall, it actually works pretty well. And we're actually pushing through a little bit. I don't know why they're keeping their distance around me. Oh, there we go. They filled in. They filled in. Okay, let's see what the status of the battle is. I believe the Romans over here have... Oh, they finished off the wild men. Okay, that's not good. Especially for the centre here. Here, the wild men have made a bit of progress, but they're kind of hampered. And the medieval soldiers, or, you know, Hannibal's primary fighting force, not doing so hot. So it's actually, the numbers are evenish now, and it's looking like you're going the Roman favour. I was not actually expecting that. Because the Romans are able to take out... 
the forces here, then they definitely would be able to take out those um, footmen. Because the spearmen are slowly getting screwed over here. So this is definitely a fairer scenario. It's actually coming down to the wire a little bit. So why do the Romans have 5,500 now? And... Oh, yep, yep. Carthaginians only have 6,000. So while the Romans are still outnumbered, they definitely could get victory, I think. And now the fighting is kind of split off. It's hard to tell because of the dead bodies. Um, so the Romans definitely have a shot. They're still outnumbered by about 600, but this is, this is definitely a heck of a lot closer. If they can just take out that block, this is going to come down to the wire because the Romans have all of these thousands of troops ready to commit to the battle. And they're actually... Oh, they're into the spearmen now. Okay. A few of the wildmen still holding out, but this flank is about to be destroyed. Yeah. Romans still outnumbered by 500. The footmen are making progress. Ooh. This might be tight. This might be very tight indeed. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that. I know ideally I should spend um, like quite a while going through to find the perfectly balanced scenario. Uh, I literally just don't have time. So I'm back at work full time. I won't be taking any time off until I leave my job. Uh, uh, in the middle of July so it's, it's kind of really really um, really got to focus on that for the next few weeks and just any other spare time I am just doing YouTube and uh, going up to various places I've been doing a lot of travelling recently more than I usually do uh, so it's just uh, I, 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 my time has been very stretched so hopefully you can understand that and it looks like the Romans could actually win this. It's just the footmen versus the Romans now. The Romans are pouring in, so are the footmen. Oh my giddly gosh. Because the footmen have 200 HP, but I think their attack is not as strong. Uh, the Romans have 150 HP, but their missile, well, their, their block is probably higher. Right. Well, no using the nuke on this one. This is going to have to actually come down to the finish line. So I think the entirety of our forces over here, of the Carthaginians, have been absolutely decimated. So it's just the remaining Romans that have to come forth and combat the footmen. But they're fighting along quite a narrow point. <laughs> So, what else to talk about? Um, I'm at a loss. This is not good for a YouTube commentator, is it? Because the numbers now are exceedingly even. And for the first time in the battle, the Romans do have the superiority of numbers. So maybe, I think the attack on the footmen is maybe a lot smaller. Let's just go around... Although our health is higher, going like one-on-one -on -one with a Roman. Uh, uh, yeah. I think the Romans deal more damage. Okay. This is only going to go one way now. And that is the Romans. Oh, the footmen actually have a... They have longer range than the Romans. Um, as we can see, the Romans are beginning to outnumber the footmen quite a lot. Yeah, the footmen just can't... I think the increased um, melee block chance, the health and attack of my Roman legionaries, will give them victory. Because they're really not losing many at all now compared to the footmen. So it looks like in this scenario, the Romans are the victors. 
And I don't think even my intervention on the footman's side would actually change that. Uh, we don't have any archers. Uh, so if, I, if I'd have kept the, road, the, the Spartans and the archers in the scenario, then definitely would have gone, I think, uh, Carthage's way once again. But now you can see that in in the in the you can read you can read it, the numbers as, as, as much as I can. Uh, I think the footmen have lost about several. Well, they lost over a thousand compared to the Romans of like a couple of hundred. So we can see how this scenario is going to go. And that is the way of the Romans. So, oh no, yeah, they outnumber them by. It's going to be over a thousand now. Yeah, they outnumber them by over a thousand. I'm, 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 I'm very confident that the Romans are going to win this. So I'm going to sign off here. If you've enjoyed the video, of course, let me know in the comments below. Let me know future scenarios. And if you haven't already, uh, please do leave a rating on the video. It would be much appreciated. I'll be back with more videos later on this week. Uh, so until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.